homework after school. How about you, Christian? I don't have no homework, Faith. Uh, I don't either. Hey, and I don't also. Well, why do we want to do, uh, Faith? Josh, you want to break in that new baseball, don't you, that you got for Christmas? Yeah. Why don't we all get together and play a game of ball in, in the back of that churchyard? And then Sunday after church, we can also play again. Oh, yeah, that's great. Come on, I'll get the ball. I'll get my glove. Yeah, that's wonderful. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh, just wait one second. I almost forgot something. i got to put something away. I'll be right with you, okay? Okay, Faith. Hey. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It looks like Faith's uh, sneaking her Bible again. <laughs> yeah, I see that, eh? Hey, um, Envy, look, look, come, come. Yes, Faith? Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. Come on, let's confront her. Mm. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'll just put this in here. And, um, uh, there you go. It'll be ready for Monday. Uh, uh, oh, you startled me, eh? What are you doing here? <laughs> Faith, Faith, Faith. Don't you know you're not supposed to have a Bible in school? <laughs> I see you sneaking in it every morning and every evening. <laughs> What's the principal going to say about that? Yeah, I think you're going to get suspended by doing that. Yeah. Well, why? Are you kids going to make me get suspended? <laughs> Like Jonah surviving inside a whale after three days? <laughs> oh, come on. That's his fantasy. We're supposed to be learning real things in life. Ace, don't you know that the Bible is God's word and it's the truth? It is no fantasy. You see, Jonah got caught in the whale because he wanted to go his own way instead of going God's way. And the Lord used the whale as a means of transportation to steer Jonah to the place where the Lord wanted him to go to save the people in Nineveh, share the good news, to save them from the fate that was awaiting in them. You see, uh, this is what happens when we are out of the will of God. It was showing that you have to be in the will of God. And, and when you go God's way, everything works out, you see. <laughs> I understand that one, don't you, Ace? <laughs> okay, <laughs> what about this one, Faith? <laughs> you expect me to believe that most crazy story about Noah and the ark, that God made every single animal he created to fit in that one little boat? And they all survived after that big storm after 40 days and 40 nights. And they were able to repopulate the whole entire planet. And out of just eight human beings, we were all re- Oh, come on, that story is so far-fetched. I don't even think it makes any sense. How could that be possible? <laughs> How could that be true? Spike, Spike, have you ever seen a rainbow in the sky? Well, that's God's promise, that he'll never flood the land again. Yeah, it did happen. If it wasn't for God telling Noah how to make that big, beautiful boat and to save his family and all the animals, we just wouldn't be here today. Yes, that story did happen. Matter of fact, every story in the Bible is the truth, you know. <laughs> You're a nice girl. <laughs> and you expect me to believe that Jesus, after being crucified on the cross, came back to life again? <laughs> How can a human being come back to life again? <laughs> oh, come on, Faith. Envy, don't you know that Jesus was not just a regular man, but God in the flesh? That's why he was able to be resurrected. 
and through his death, we can all have the assurance of eternal life. For his death was a death that brought us life, life most eternally. You see, he's got a kingdom waiting for us for all eternity. <laughs> oh, come on, it's kind of late, don't you think? Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord today? 
For today is exciting. For today is the day that the Lord has made. Hey, buddy, you got your Bibles? Let's turn to Revelation chapter 21, where we can talk more about this beautiful kingdom of heaven that the Lord has prepared for us. Come on, everybody. Get your Bibles. Let's read. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. And there shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirsts. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls filled with the seven last plagues came to me and talked with me, saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God having the glory of God. And her light was like a most precious stone, like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Also, she had a great and high wall with twelve gates, and twelve angels at the gates, and names written on them, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Three gates on the east, three gates on the north, three gates on the south, and three gates on the west. Now the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he who talked with me had a gold reed to measure the city, its gates, and its wall. And the city is laid out as a square, and its length is as great as its breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand furlongs. Its length, breadth, and height are equal. Then he measured its wall, 144 cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of an angel. And the construction of its wall was of jasper, and the city was pure gold, like clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were adorned with all kinds of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth Sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysoprase, the eleventh Jason, and the twelfth amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each individual gate was of one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold like transparent glass. But I saw no temple in it, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. And the city had no need of the sun or of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God illuminated it, and the Lamb is its light. And the nations of those who are saved shall walk in its light, and the kings of the earth bring their glory and honor into it. Its gates shall not be shut at all by day, there shall be no night there, but there shall by no means enter it anything that defiles or causes an abomination or a lie but only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. May God bless the reading of his word. 
Now let's join Sister Gloria in a song called Heaven's Jubilee. Come on, Gloria, sing a song. Okay, Pastor John. Everybody get up and let's sing a song of praise. Let's sing to the Lord a new song. What rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise Headed for that jubilee yonder in the sky For the world singing, for the world shouting, shouting On that happy morning when we all shall have a rise For the world's glory, 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 glory When we meet our blessed Savior we all You're not kidding, Josh. You 
sure send that ball flying. Whew, it's out of here for sure. I don't think you're gonna find it. That looks like a thick woods out there. Well, let's go see if we can find it. <laughs> Good game, Josh. Don't worry, fellas. It must have fell behind the bush way out behind the back of that hill. I'll go get it and we'll continue playing our games. Hmm, now I wonder where that baseball is. Hmm, <laughs> I don't know where. Wow. Wow. Hey, I never noticed that church over there before. Look what I found! It's a sight to see! What is it, Josh? What did you find other than the ball? Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Come on, everybody! Look! There's a feast for the eyes! Wow! Wow! I wonder how long this church has been here. I wonder why this church is abandoned. I wonder why no one even noticed this before. Oh, this is such a mystery. Let's explore. Wow, this baseball game got kind of excited. It's not every day you see a church that was, is here that wasn't here before. <laughs> or was it here before? You may never know. <laughs> oh, well, let's see what this is all about. <laughs> Come on, let's explore that church. Oh, it must be exciting inside. Come on, let's see what mysteries we can uncover. Come on, let's all go and see what's inside that church. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Come on. We're right behind you, Josh. Wow, out of all the years I've been here, I never ever saw this church here before. How could ever I overlook such a wonderful place? Wow, let's see what's inside. Come on. It's a big mystery how this church wound up here. I mean, I played baseball back in this field a lot, and I never realized that there was a church here. Why would this church be abandoned? Oh, wow, look at those windows. Let's take a closer look. Oh, I wonder why this church has those kind of windows. A lion, a lamb, a squirrel, a wolf, a frog. I've never seen that before in the church. Hmm, maybe it's a Garden of Eden picture or something? Maybe it's a children's church. A special church for kids. Or maybe, I, I don't know, a, a nursery? All I know is this beautiful. Perhaps you're both right. This must be a children's church, and this must be the nursery room. Come on, let's investigate some more. That's right, Hope, Josh, and Fate. Let's see what other mysteries we can uncover. Wow, I wonder why nobody ever noticed this church before. Hey, look! Look at that book on the pulpit! Ooh, I gotta see this! Wow, look at this book. It's got a grave lying on the cover with tassels. Oh, wow. Come on, let's read this book. Hmm, it may be a great, exciting children's story. Let's read. Hey, its title says, Quest for the King, Journey into Paradise. One day in paradise, four kids entered the city. Two boys and two girls. Hey, just like us. Why do we pretend to be those four children in the story? Come on, let's see where this story leads. One day in paradise lies an empty trowel. And all of the kids wondered where the king had grown. But it's so empty. His trowel and the outward is the city. The rainbow is too shiny out of this trowel. Reflecting on the river of life, where the tree of life is grown. Outside the city, Logos the lion was grown. Looking for the king, I'm wondering where he has grown. 
the children the empty truck with a mama was at it, standing there all alone. Logos told them, Who are you? They answered and gave him their name. Then Logos said, No, I did not say, What are your names? I said, Who are you? Are you children of the darkness or children of the light? If you're children of the light, are you looking for the king too? Hey, what? Josh. Hey, you know what? Why don't you come over to our house tonight? Christian and I are going to camp out tonight. Maybe ask your parents if you can stay over and spend the night. We can all read this book together and see the conclusion of this exciting story. How about it, guys? That's right, Hope. <laughs> Josh, Fate, come on. Let's go. Tell your parents. That sounds great. Ooh, let's read a story. I can't wait. Hope, Christian, that's a great idea. Oh, wow. I know my mom and dad won't mind. Come on, Josh. Let's go. Yes, Fate. I'm right behind you. Let's go tell our parents. This is going to be fun. Ooh, I can't wait. I'll bring some marshmallows so we can toast them. Mmm. Okay, everybody. Come on, let's go. Let's get ready to read the story. I sure hope, thank mm, Josh, that your parents would allow you to camp out with us tonight. I don't see why not. Tomorrow there is no school. Come on, let's ask help. Mommy, Daddy, can Faye and I camp at Christian and Hope's house tonight? They are going to have a camp out. Oh, please, there's no school tomorrow. Can we go? Why, yes. By the way, <laughs> Christian and Hope's parents just called us and invited you kids over for the night. So you got our blessings. Go ahead and have a good time. Come on, come on. Come on, Hope. Let's read the rest of that story. Okay, now let's continue reading the open. Uh, let's see. One day in paradise. They ascended an empty throat. Everybody in paradise wondered where the king had grown. In the garden. Oh, I feel 
different, don't do you? Whoa, yeah, sure. Then they hear the sound of an owl and a wolf. Oh, wow. Oh, 